Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, hello. For anyone watching the replay. And hello. For anyone who's here now. Hello. Okay, let me move this actually. I don't want my address to be seen. Hi, I turned on um, slow, mo slow mode and all that. If you have kids, you know. How many of these did y'all steal from the, <laughs> from the uh, hospital? We stole all of them. These make the best burp cloths, okay? The best. Um, Bean Boy is sleeping. Tony is... <laughs> going to pick up the new gun safe we just bought and yeah um so I put I put on slow mode for every 60 seconds and then also I put um I made it so that only subscribers can comment if you've been subscribed to me for one day so hopefully we're not gonna have any craziness like we did last time um because you know People are fucking crazy. I do just find it super interesting that, you know, I I never have that issue unless, I've, unless I'm addressing this one person, right? It's very, very strange. And I never want to be that type of person like how a lot of times Katie Joy will do that and will be like, oh, I this person's sending this and doing that. And I'm like, girl, you're not that important. Shut up, you know? Um, so anyways, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. I need to put on just a little bit of makeup so that I can get to film it. I have like some admin stuff to do today as well for work and all that. And then we have like some chores and stuff and like home project, not chores, but kind of home projects and stuff like that to you too today. So that is what is happening. Hi, Barbie. Am I just always wearing Barbie stuff? I think I am. And, um... Yeah. Thank you. Your hair looks so cute like this. Thanks. I haven't done it like this in such a long time and I love it. It just makes it like super big. And like I did it, what, like yesterday, I think is when I did it last or the day before. And I just put, it just gets real big. I put dry shampoo in it, which I need to buy some more dry shampoo because I just ran out of it yesterday. But, and I spray it and just scrunch it and I'll just like randomly do a few more pieces, which I actually need to do now. Um, uh, yeah, so the video about Katie Joy, I'm really sorry it wasn't out last night. It was supposed to be, but the sponsor that we were supposed to, uh, supposed to have go up on Friday was the due date or the post date for their video. They were like, Hey, can we actually have it go out on Valentine's day? And they said that the day before. And I was like, excuse me. <laughs> What? And I really like that sponsor. And so I wanted to put it on a video that I knew was going to do well. So I put it on the Katie Joy video and I just had like a funny like segue into the ad anyways. So I did that. Um, and Ethan edited the video yesterday. Thank goodness. And then from there, I sent it over and it hasn't been approved yet because I sent it over at like 9 PM. So hopefully that is approved today. And that will go up and keep in mind that video is not a deep dive on Katie Joy. I've seen some people say that and I'm like, bitch, where did I say that? I did not say that it was. And so it's not, I am, I, I have decided that I am going to work on a full Katie Joy deep dive though, because this lady just keeps fibbing on my name. I just think it's wild, you know? There we go. Turn it on the lights. It's just, it's so wild. Oh my gosh. Hey, Wabarbo. Watching while I clean. Boy, you always be watching me while you clean. Um, <laughs> I, I sent Robert a video of a, um, of like a little Scotty dog, like the way he was walking. No idea. It just reminded me of, I was like, if that, if Robert was a dog, that'd be him. Um, I sent it to him and I was like, you, <laughs> does him. Um, so happy you're going to do that. Yeah. So that video will be, um, realistically probably in like a month or two, because there's another deep dive that I'm working on before that. And with that, um, 
I am going to do interviews with people and all that. And then, of course, because this girl is lawyer happy, I have to have my lawyer approve it and go over all of it before, um, like before, during, and after. So that's quite interesting that I have to do that because that's annoying. And yeah, so there's that. Um, So just keep in mind this video is not going to be a deep dive, but I did put on my Instagram that she, and on my Twitter, that she apparently was on a live stream of someone's in the live chat being like, oh yeah, she, like Chelsea, or first of all, she says CC. She doesn't spell it just CC. She spells it C-E-E-C-E-E. -E -E -E, and it's like, okay, that's not, who's that? That's not me. Um, but also she, um, said that I, what did she say? That I like, that I hate her. I don't hate you. I don't, I do. I don't hate you. Calm down. You're not that important in my life. But then also she was saying that I've been in all caps, nasty to her in emails. What? What? What are you... What are you talking about? Um, and I do need to watch that live stream to make sure that, like, to confirm, obviously, that she was talking about me, but I, everyone was saying that. However, um, I know how in this corner of the internet, no offense to people who are on this corner of the internet, people will, like, take, just be fucking insane. Um, yeah. So there's that sue her. Why? For what? What? Well, like exactly, right? Like what would I, what would I do that for? A perfect example of how people, no offense to you, but perfect example of how people on this side of the internet, this corner, this dark, dank corner will just be like, sue this person, sue that person, do this, do a copyright strike. And it's like, for why? <laughs> why would I sue her? That's stupid. Um, and then also she said in live stream, she's like, I'm not scared of you. And it's like, I, you don't need to be. What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't ask you to be. Good. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you. What are you talking about? I just finished watching your mean comments video. Yay. When she claims everyone is gaslighting her. It, dude, it's it's crazy. Why did I just say dude? Mm. <sighs> honestly love how you bring awareness while making us smile. I try, man. I try. I know I learn things better and like retain information better when like it's entertaining and funny. So I try to do that. Uh, watching you whilst making the most delicious cinnamon buns. Ooh, love that. Side note, love the wavy hair. Thanks. Uh, she enjoys a good lawsuit, probably enjoys, a, probably enjoys a video, but I think the videos about her bother her more. Yes, the girl, my daughter is three, kept all the hospital cloths. Good. Uh, it's been so lush bending on your videos last month, each day, every day, open another one and see you've gained another hundred. Oh uh, yeah, I, it's my, I've been growing quite a bit in the last two or three months. It's crazy. I'm very, very thankful. And it really is because of um, deep dives and stuff like that. And just putting a lot more effort into my, um, a lot more effort into my content. Not that I wasn't like putting effort in before, but obviously like I, I was pregnant and had a baby in, um, July. And like, that was my main focus the entire year last year. So yeah. Um, I followed her and watched her videos for a long time. And then I started watching you and realized how she, <laughs> what she was doing and how she was acting. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, she's wild, man. I think she does a lot of IG stuff too. How dare how dare your main focus be your child? How dare I? How dare? Um, you know what? Let me get do I want to put on eyeshadow? I don't think I do. No, 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 I do not think I do. I do like these lashes though, so I am gonna put these on. Um, I think the, these are the, um, Kiss Lash Couture volume full set. That's what these are. 
sometimes I just have like rogue lashes on my desk and I'm like, I'll wear these and I have no idea which ones they are. So that's great. No shadow today. Uh, needs to be the stuff. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. Thanks. I feel like I look much more awake now that I put on some concealer that is a little bit less. Like I put on um, the, which one is this? I think this is like the lightest, not, no, this isn't the lightest shade. The lightest shade they have is like white. Um, this is the Maybelline one. But yeah, I think this is like two or one. I don't know. And then this, again, this does not say it either. Um, oh, this is, no, this is 10. This is fair. And then this one is lighter. Oh, maybe this says it. No, that does not say it. Yeah, this one doesn't say it either. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, so I put, I put this one on first and then I put on that one over it. But I put it on over it like m much later after. It's probably like an hour after because I did that this morning. You know, just to like brighten and then to like actually conceal. It's probably completely useless of a, you know, way to go there. If you actually want to learn anything about makeup or anything and everything, get, you know, super educated and learn all the fun stuff. Um, don't go to TikTok. <laughs> no, go to um, Robert Welsh. He will just teach you so much in a fun and entertaining way. And for, for some reason, over the past like three days, I keep having one of their intros from one of the channel, one of the videos on their twin channel where they say, and this is my uh, your weekly reminder that we're not the same person. Robert says that. And then James goes, but we do love shopping. And I just, I don't know why I keep saying it in my head. There's a lot going on up there. I lost my wallet on Monday, Sunday, Monday, on Monday. My husband found it. It was at the gas station. I also lost my phone on Monday. It was in the cheese drawer in the fridge because that's where it should go. You know? The Welsh twins are amazing. I agree. I'm just like so surprised that still to this day, people think that they are the same person. It's wild. It's like, do y'all like, do people not look at like the names of the channels that they're following? Also look how cute my nails are. Little smiley nubs. I love them. They're so cute. I need to get this tattoo redone or touched up. That one needs to get touched up. I guess all my other ones are good. Yeah, my little mushroom. You you see you see it, mushroom. I love. I think this one might be my favorite. I always forget I have this one. I have ten tattoos, but love him, her, her. I think dragons are non-binary actually. Um, and then that one, and then ladylike. Why am I showing all my tattoos? Because you know, not gonna teach me how to be. And then the T for my husband and the M for my son and then my B and then my vine and then my Morris code and then my pepper, the peppers for you guys. I got that for a hundred thousand subscribers. I actually got it like a month before I hit that because my tattoo artist is so forking busy that I was like, I'm not going to be able to get into him. Um, anyways. Getting a more memorial on my mom. Oh, I love that. Tanya, that's beautiful. I love that so much. What type of butterfly? Make sure it's an actual butterfly and like not a moth. <laughs> I've seen people that will like get, they're like, it's a butterfly. And it's like, bitch, that's a moth. <laughs> um, a seahorse on my back. It makes me so sad that I never see it. Um, I have 12 others that I can see. Yeah, that's that's why I have all of like literally all of them from like elbow down because then I can see them and they're for me. Um, are you gonna go see Injector Rachel? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go see her, I think, at the end of the month. Yeah, I'm gonna go see her. Cause I still have um I personally think that I still have some filler migration right here. Right. Yeah, I still think I have a little bit right here. So I'm going to check with her, see if she thinks I do, because I don't fucking know. And then if not, we're going to just do maybe like half a syringe. And then I'm going to get my Botox again. 
so yeah, I also texted Tony the other day and I was like, the other day, literally last night. And I was like, I think I want to get a Jupiter tattoo. Cause you know, that's my favorite, um, planet. <laughs> Um, as a bookworm and I thought that said libertarian and librarian in training, I'm obsessed with your rainbow shelves. Thanks, girl. I've had people say that. And I've also had people be like, as an autistic individual, <laughs> I'm horny for those. And I'm like, yeah, buddy, that's, I feel you. It's like calming. It makes me very happy. And I've already said it on Instagram and in some videos, but if y'all want to like be a part of my shelves, like uh, that one right there, that red one, that's Dracula. One of y'all sent me that and put a little note in it. She put it on a sticky note, which I love that. But if you want to like write on the inside cover um, and send it to my uh, PO box, feel free to. Also shipping's like expensive for heavy stuff. So like, don't like, don't if you, if you can't, <laughs> you know, or if you don't want to. Anyways, I want a tiny T-Rex. Love that. Love that. Oh, shit, you're alive. Thanks. I'm obsessed with the book, uh, the bookcase too, or bookshelf. Yeah, same. Someone was like, who built it? And I was like, I don't fucking know. The person who built our house, I guess. Because I, I guess some people weren't realizing that it's like a built-in, like it's in the wall. But I do love that they painted it black because that makes my heart also happy. Um, so... I, yeah, so I got that all done. I still need to like organize on the bottom. You can't see like this bottom. This is all the bottom shelf is all like makeup is right behind me. That is hair and tanning. And then over here is like office stuff, which I need to put in my, um, my closet in here. But I was talking to a friend of mine and, or a colleague of mine, a friend. Um, and she, little office tour. Hey. Wiggum. Um, so, oh, oops. So that corner, let me move. Let me just turn this shit off. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Um, so that, so that's my closet, but that corner right there, I was gonna do like a light hanging from the ceiling because there's a cap up there. So I'm assuming I put a light and then, and the stay spicy sign is up here in my calendar, but I don't, y'all can't see my calendar. Um, for privacy purposes, but this little corner, I wanted to put like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, like wallpaper and stuff and have it be like real cute. Oh, mama just knocked one of my lights off my desk. Yikes. But then I was talking to a friend of mine and she really wants to do a podcast with me. And I was like, girl, we have to be super organized if we do that, because I was like, I can't even like get my own podcast together. So I don't know. And then I was like, oh shit, wait, that would actually be a perfect corner in my office if we were going to do like a do we know them type of setup and make it look like we're in the same room. Like that would be perfect. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, but where do I put my love sack then? I guess I should, I could put it under there. That could still be good, I guess. Yeah, I guess I could. And that could be my little reading station. Um, and then I would just have another, I would have a different chair there. And that would be like even another setup for videos too would be good. So, yeah. Anyways, so that's good. Are we talking about Kitty Joy yet? Sorry, I got distracted. Um, do you know the paint color for your doors? Girl, no. Oh, hey, yeah. Smitten. God, you've been around for fucking years. No, I don't. Um, I can ask, girl, that's a Tony question. I can ask Tony though and share it on Instagram. And I'll share like all the paint colors that we have in here. And then like random other fixtures and shit that I can find too. Cause I've had a lot of people ask me that. And I will then save it onto the home um, Instagram highlight I have, okay? If you remember. I know, right? But you know I won't remember. Podcast from the love sack. Dottie, then I would be literally on the ground and Cheryl would be <laughs> like in an actual chair. She'd probably be on like a couch actually, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, it would be so cute if we got like if we somehow were able to get like the same like love seat and had like half of it out of frame and then made it look like we were like on the same couch. I don't know. That's a lot. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Um, is mine repeating? I swear you said all of this in the same tone word for word like 10 minutes ago. Girl, maybe <laughs> check your progress bar thing. 
down below. <sighs> um, ooh, I made it to an actual live instead of the replay. Love that for you. Um, <laughs> someone said llama girl, how's your new relationship going? Yikes. Anyways, so yeah, Katie Joy was like going off, I guess, in the comments of a live stream, which is just so strange. And um, I feel like and now there's more Katie Joy people here. So maybe not people, but you know what I mean? So maybe y'all can confirm. Was she discussing me when she said that I have been nasty in emails to her? Because that's like, that's just, that's false. I didn't do that. Yeah. And how are like, you're not like, get my name right. Like, what are you doing? And sure you can call me CC Suarez or Chelsea Suarez. That's fine. But as men said, probably, <laughs> um, but like, who who is C C? <laughs> who who is that? Who is that? So it wasn't her live stream. It was a different person's live stream. But there's like replays of it and shit. I'm sure on the internet, or I'm sure someone like watched it. Who's in here? Um, <laughs> Lama's the co-head of the cult, right? I'm not in. I'm. I'm not in any of that. I mean, I'll I'll tell you right now. I have said multiple times to people like. Like there, there's even someone on Twitter who was responded to one of my, um, responded to a tweet that either I posted or I was tagged in and put all these hashtags saying that Katie Joy's like a child abuser. And I was like, what? I was like, no, no, no. You're, I was like, I said something along the lines of like, that's not okay to accuse someone of that without any proof. To my knowledge, there has not been any proof that she has done that. So do not do that. Don't talk about her kid. If you're going to like criticize her parenting choices or whatever, if she is showing that online, then okay, fine. But like, don't fucking talk about her kid and whatever illnesses he does or does not have. Don't do that. Her kid's not a public figure. She is talk shit about her, not her kid. If you want to, you know, yeah. Deal in facts and receipts and that's it. Sass and facts. That's fine. Facts, not fuckery. Okay. Because that just hurts the message and it's, it, it really just like, it gives her more fuel of like, see what they're doing? And it's like, no, girl, stop. That's not they. That's a few crazy fucking people. Also, how the fuck does she go live with a kid? Not with meaning like, he, like he's not on camera, obviously, but like. How the fuck do you go live with a kid? And isn't he does I, I, I just said literally don't talk about her kid. Now I'm like, wait, does any of this? Um, but she has previously said that he is like high needs or something, right? Like how the girl, I'm surprised I'm even going live right now because my kid is still asleep. He was being so funny this morning. Oh my god. <sighs> but yeah, just from the two times where I have had him like in his jumper or like in my lap or like out of frame. During a live stream, people, those two times people have said shit about like my parenting. And this one person was like, you're just like a disgusting mother. Like you, you referred to him as this thing. And I'm like, yeah, it's, I'm, jo I'm joking. Obviously love him so much. Like calm the fuck down. They're like, speak to your son with respect. I'm like, who, who, are, who are you? Oh my gosh, you shouldn't swear in front of your child. You should suck a dick. How about that? Um, he has been on her lives. Her husband doesn't work. You need to do a deep dive because she uses her son. That's sad. If true. Also, though, I mean, I do completely get it when, like, your kid would rather, like, have you than the other parent, even if you are working. Um, but I don't know. I just think that's, it, I, I completely get that. Cause I know some people would probably be like, oh, well, if like your kid, like if your, you know, spouse is like watching them while, you know, you're working, why are you like having interruptions? Why, like, why do you blah, blah, blah. And it's like, do you not understand like how children are? <laughs> there are sometimes when my baby be yelling. And Tony just like can't get him down or like I can't get him down and he wants the other one. It's fine. Sometimes that happens. 
but also it's like I would never be able to like have going live be like my main content because holy wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That would suck. It just, it just leaves so much room for error. Also, I like itch the inside of my nose too much. I have to go pee multiple times. I like my bulldog snoring. I would not be able to do that. Like, wow. Also, I am of the opinion that unless you're like a, not Steven Hassan, um, Jesus, unless you're like a Hassan Piker type person who is I don't want to say like super eloquent, but like he can keep it going for a long time and like has it down and like is more eloquent than Katie Joy and me. But if you're someone like that, then okay, that's a little bit different and like an actual like streamer. But I personally think that doing this type of content, you, I don't know, I just feel like being like doing live streams. I don't know if that's what she does still, but I feel like that isn't like. I don't want to say appropriate, but I just feel like it's not um, ideal, you know, like for this type of content where uh, you need to be able to like read off a script or like have bullet points or I don't know, man. I, I get it that it's like it's way easier, of course, because you just put the video up and that's it, like that there's way less work. So I understand that, but with this type of content, especially, you know, general commentary, more expose commentary, like, I just don't think it's, I just think it's lazy. Personally, my live streams are more to connect with you guys and that's it. This lashes. No bueno. So there's that. Also, someone had asked, they were like, oh my gosh, like, I love when you go live. Can you go live like more often? And it's like, I, can't, I really can't. And I used to go live all the time, all the fucking time. And I wish I could, but I just, I can't because of the little baby. And I'm not going to have, like, he, he's so unpredictable. He's so loud. He, and I, I want to be able to just focus on him. And yeah, like I have him in here when I'm like, I'm working and like researching and writing stuff. And he's just, you know, doing his own thing. And he's so funny. He's so funny, but he's like in his, in his, uh, his little like activity center bouncer thing right here and just going to town and. You know, he'll be like on the floor. I'll, I'll lower my desk. And so I'm like closer to him and he'll be like right here on the floor and just like playing with his blocks and his toys. He's so funny trying to shove everything in his mouth. I don't know. Just I don't like, yes, I do show him online at times. I do share my life with y'all a lot of times, but I want to I want to be in control of what y'all see. You know, I just want to protect him. My youngest son, who's 19, still comes to meet over his dad. <laughs> Sleeping, who cares? Getting ready for work, who cares? No. Chelsea goes live because she misses me. That's true. That's a billion percent true. Um, now I'm late and I have no idea what's happening. I definitely did. I've been in a ton of your lives. I definitely did what? Oh yes, I yeah, I used you mean I used to go I used to go live a lot more. Okay. Just gonna put this right here so I can keep an eye on him. Have you tried Moxie Lash? With the nano grip technology, I absolutely love them. Finally, a lash I can do. Horrible reaction to lash extensions, and these are great. No, I like kiss lashes. And there are a few others I like, but I'll stick with these. I was in the middle of the Girl to Find video, and I got this notification. Love that for you. Yeah, so um, they grow up so fast. Yeah, it's crazy that he's six months old already. It's wild. All right. <laughs> There's so much glue built up on this. I need to, I need to clean these, but you know what? Who cares? Uh, Tatum, do I remember you? Sounds familiar. <laughs> I remember quite a lot of you. Oh, that says, what is this? Oh, thank you, Kristen, for, um, 
for the super chat. You're clearly an amazing mom and killing it. I think I'm a pretty damn good mom. Wigum, what do you think? Snore if you agree. He agrees. I need to make sure Wigum doesn't fall off that. I mean, cause and effect, but also I don't want him to get stuck back there. Okay. We all knew you would be. Thank you. Has Girl Define reacted to your video at all? Nope. What do you use to clean your lashes? Um, I'll like pick off the glue and then I have a little dish that they'll go in and just warm, um, uh, warm water. And um, then I put like micellar water in it too. And that's really it. You were going through postpartum depression and we're still killing it. Girl, we ain't in the clear yet. We're still, we're still going. It's still fucking going. Thank God for Zoloft. There was a point where I was like, do I need to up my dosage? Oh, I actually need to request another uh, refill for that because I am out. So I did not take it today. Or yesterday, I think. Ah, there's an eye booger. Okay. All righty, Rudy. Eh. God, I am sucking at doing this one today. What is going on? Wiggum, you're really sawing logs over there, huh, buddy? Really getting it. I love that for you. That's exactly what I do to clean mine. Thanks for the reminder to take my Zoloft. Girl, you didn't take it already? Time is it over there? It's noon. It's noon over here. You better take that shit in the morning. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, like, when you take it, but I take mine in the morning. Yeah, buzz saw. I suck at lashes every time. I've gotten given up completely. It just takes patience and practice. I mean, just like any makeup or anything, any skill really. Um, ugh. You know, Tony wanted to paint the shed today, but I don't think we're going to have time to do that, especially if I'm like trying to work. <sighs> oh, Court, thank you. I appreciate your super chat. Thanks, boo -boo. Uh, Does anyone know if in the like 2010s, there was an MLM called Javita. I mean, you could look it up. I'm sure there, there's got to be a digital footprint of it somewhere. Um, ba -ba -ba, careful skipping days. I can't go two days without feeling it. Um, I agree at the third day I feel it. Uh, but I'm going to go pick it up today because it's ready. It's dare. It's dare. Ugh, y'all. My scalp psoriasis has been getting a little crazy. I wasn't sure my refills are out before I run out. I know, but like, I'm busy. Also, I forget. Have you ever talked about the MLM called Pharmacy? Um, I haven't done a deep dive on it, I don't think, but we've talked about it a few times. Brains I apps. Yeah, girl. Girl. Um, ba -ba -ba. What's the weather like in Tampa at the moment? England is so gray and rainy. Um, it was a little bit overcast today, and the sun is out now. And it is... Let me see what the uh, temperature is outside. Um, it is 70 degrees, 71 degrees. It is, the sun is going to come out more and it's going to be a high of 75 and a low of 55 and it's partly cloudy. Well, I mean, it says mostly cloudy, but it's like, eh, I guess it kind of is mostly cloudy at the moment. Um, let's check in on that little bean boy. Okay. He's moving his feet. It means he's probably going to wake up in like 15 minutes. Um, huh, weird. <laughs> Ethan's so funny. He emailed me back as I asked him a question. He goes, after further investigation, <laughs> that's my editor. Weird. Okay. He's, he's so funny. I love him. <laughs> I texted him a picture yesterday. <laughs> And um, 
he he responded back with a meme and I, he's like, this is the first thing I thought. And I was like, oh my God, that's bad. The snoring's taking me out. Yeah. I moved my love sack. It was over there. And then I, um, I put my wigs up over there instead. So I moved it from over there to the other side of my office so that he would be further away. Sorry, I'm itching my scalp so much, but my scalp psoriasis, I'm like having a flare up right now. Ugh. Um, but yeah, he, I moved him as far away as possible. And you can still hear him snoring. I cannot. Okay. Anyways, let me finish my lotions and redo bottom mascara and then do a little bit of a contour. I like how you show your little bean on camera because you're so honest of being like, he's here because you he started screaming <laughs> instead of pretending everything's awesome. Yeah, I it's that's, uh, that's what I got to do sometimes. I've heard you're not supposed to store... Real hair wigs by a window. And if if they are, is that actually true? Um, I only have two uh, real hair wigs. No, there's three. And I I don't know that to be true. I, I've always said like, yes, I love wigs. I love playing dress up. But I am, I am not the expert when it comes to that. Uh, but I mean, they're, they're next to my sliding glass door. And I mean, they're getting indirect sunlight. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, my real hair goes outside, so. Hey, Caillute, thank you. Um, but I wanted to look and see what this lady is doing. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? Okay. It's Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, let's go into my mentions. Uh, no, let's go into. <laughs> okay. That's weird. All right. Let me go. Okay. Sorry. Trying to look at the email. That it's so weird when, when like people tag me in something and then it's like I can't see it because it's limited. Very strange. Anyways, so and I, like I said, I posted this on Instagram too, but Shmady Joy apparently posted a where the how how does Twitter work? Like where am I going? There we go. Good lord. Um, she posted, no, she didn't post. Um, yeah, she commented on someone's thing. So this person said, just made KJ, just Katie Joy just made a guest appearance in one of her supporters. YouTube live chats. Apparently I am CC Suarez. That's me. Um, hates her and is doing a hit piece. Well, it's not a hit piece because I asked you for comment. So, like, that's literally why people do that. Uh, Katie Joy has no clue what CC has to say or what it's about, but she obviously is concerned. I'm not stating that as a fact. I'm just reading what this person's saying. Didn't she do the same thing to CC last time she made a video? That's absolutely true. Um, and I don't know who Kathy P is, but they were doing a live stream, I guess. And Katie Joy said... Uh, they are already going to have, I cannot with how she said my name or type my name, C.C. Suarez, C-E-E -E, space, C-E-E, -E. <laughs> whomst, <laughs> uh, do a hit piece on me and make them look like victims. Um, that's pretty bold of you to say when that video isn't out yet, but okay. Anyways, 
Um, and then she said, yep, she's going to make Rennell and Katie look like victims of me. Who, who said, like, is she in here? Like, is she in here? Chelsea the assassin. Yeah, right. The fuck? Like, this woman really thinks she knows everything. Uh, and then it says, she absolutely hates me and is totally on their side. I mean, false and false, actually, but cool. And then this is the next one, and I posted this on Instagram and Twitter, too. But I was like, I again, I don't know if she was referring to me during this part, which I guess I could just, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the Kathy P. ladies. Um, are my lashes done? That's as good as it's going to get, honestly. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's go to this fucking Kathy P. Ladies account. See how this works? Actually going to the source to figure out what's happening. And if she actually was talking about me. Kathy P. How, wait, how am I actually supposed to get this lady's account? Because just saying Kathy P., is, that does not narrow it down. <laughs> like, I don't know who, I have no idea who Kathy P. is. I don't, I don't know this person. Um. Oh, actually, I don't think that's her name. I think that's what just what she has as her name. Ah, oh, fork. I don't know who it is. Yikes. Kathy P. Let's talk about it. Is a nice lady. I don't. I don't know who she is, so I can't. Oh, that is her thing. Okay, I'm here. Um, let's. Oh my god, it's a three-hour live stream. Let's address emails. I'm over it. How do I figure out what the timestamp is? Um, I don't think these people know what slander and defamation actually means, but it's okay. Three hours of your life that you'll never get back. True. Why is my phone robot listening to me? Okay. Um. I guess I sh I guess I should just go by Okay. Um bum, bum, bum. I guess I'm just going to skim through just to see where Katie Joy is. Um, this is so long. Um, have I covered new skin? No. Once you open the transcript. Ooh. Wait, how do, wait, what? How do I do that? What's going on here? <laughs> Is she really that intelligent? Who's intelligent? She just gets her info from Reddit or literally anyone who contacts her and fact checks nothing and hides it behind sources. Um, I mean, I would say that that is accurate, <laughs> but that is just my opinion. So who the fuck knows? Not me. Um, okay. Let me. Wait, yeah, how do I, how do I, how do I do that? Ooh. 
Ooh, timestamps. Ooh, here we go. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so I did timestamps for the chat, and now I'm just going to go back and see where Catherine Buttface is. So smart. There is no transcript, but timestamps may be available. Um, not that serious. Please stop. That's funny. Oh, well, shit. Can I pop this out? Nope, can't pop it out. God damn it. Not helpful. Oop, found her. Ha ha. Okay. Um. All right. The this is the worst community I've ever seen. Steve's mental health has gotten so much worse in the past few years. How do you know? The report was heavily redacted. I'm being rude. I brought up this stuff about Aaron because it's relevant to now. I'm learning learning that they believe a legal letter is a threat. Weird. I mean, it could be a legal threat or a um, intimidation a way to intimidate someone. I'm not going to court. I didn't cross any boundaries. I mean, that's um, a matter of opinion. No one should ever be calling a medical provider of someone else. Uh, they say I do this to people and never one time have, have I do anything close. Well, you clearly need to proofread. Lord, this lady's all up in here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. She also told him to call police and she was worried that I needed a welfare check. Ew, don't do that. I mean, it, God, it's like Katie Joy is like a mix between Lauren the Mortician and... Jeanette Braun, the unhinged TikTok lawyer. Like, this must have been a night. Oh, a nighttime chat. Yeah. Listen, I got I get a little bit spicy when I have like one glass of wine too, but I'm also not just a piece of shit that, you know, anyways. There's only a few months later, she got my blank investigation report redacted, which did not include anything I said, then platformed by Blankist's side and accused me of lying. Okay, um, girl, those are bold accusations. Let's show some proof. Okay, sorry, y'all. I'm, tr I'm trying to, f I'm trying to see the, um, if she specifically was talking about me, because I like that's that is very important. Okay. See, y'all, you're like basically investigating with me. Okay, it doesn't look like Katie Joy was in the chat at this time. I'm going to have to download this fucking video or screen record it so that I can put it in another video. This is exhausting. It's exhausting, I tell you. My Lord, she is worse than the lawyer and the mortician by a thousand fold. I don't know. I'm saying like put them put together. I don't know if she's worse. They're pretty awful. Um, I, I'd say I'm from, and keep in mind, like I, I've, I see background stuff that has happened, like with the case and all that shit about, uh, Lauren, the mortician and I should be down a little bit more what's going on here. And, um, Laura and Jeanette Braun, because like I'm friends with people in the case and like, I do get updates. My oh, shit's wild, man. I'm not like involved, like involved in the case. It's just like friends talking about stuff. <laughs> Basically me and Lily being up at 4 a.m. Because she's the only person that's up when I'm up like that. Okay, so she entered the chat. It looks like after like the hour mark, maybe? Possibly. Y'all, if you can find this, please let me know. Because Jesus Christ. This is excruciatingly... Um, 
intense. Oh, is my husband home? Oh my God, he is. Okay, hold on y'all. I have to tell him that I'm live streaming. So hold on. Wiggum, come on. Hello, Abuelo. Wiggum, oh my gosh. You just had the door shut. I know. Wiggum, go in there. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, so, so excited. Abuelo's his favorite. Hi. Come in. Okay, come on, bud. Wiggum is too excited. I know, buddy. You love Abuelo. Abuelo's his favorite. Okay, hi off screen, Tony. Yeah, oh yeah, I love Mad Catster. Um, bum 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 bum. Poor Jamie. I hope he gets his TikTok account back. Yeah, I mean he's he's done really well with his um with his with his uh, new one, which is great. I'm very very happy. I sent you a link with this screenshot on your Twitter. I need a timestamp of when she got in there so that I can see. Like if she is specifically discussing me, because I think that is important for me to actually have proof that she was talking about me. Do you ever get lonely working from home? I work from home four days a week and it's low key depressing. <laughs> um, hey. uh, yeah, especially the days when Tony is working because he's gone for 12 hours and and it's just me and Wiggum and the baby. <laughs> and yeah. It, de it definitely does. Um, I try to break up our days as much as I can. And I think, especially in a job like this, when you are working by yourself for yourself, I think it's really important to, um, to like, I mean, have colleagues that, you know, are like friendly with you and who you can talk with and who get it, you know, that's very, very important. Um, oh yeah. Llama girl. I already saw that. That's where I was like going off of, but that doesn't have that doesn't have a timestamp, uh, like, cause I want to confirm that this person was talking about me so that I can see that, um, that Katie Joy was specifically referencing me. So yeah, but thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you trying to send me some rough feet. Um, love your built ins. Thank <sighs> Yeah, I don't no no offense to this lady. I don't want to hear her voice though. I know that sounds mean, but like I don't I'm listen. I'm autistic. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's not me joking. I mean I am joking, but like I am autistic. Anyways. Okay, so Aaron Costello once called my friend that owns a bar because she didn't believe me that his bar received threats. Weird. Uh sent a stream where she was live with blah, blah, blah. Okay. Then she says, right. And then it's four years later. I'm way different now. That's debatable. Uh, FYI, I want to be clear. This is true. Hmm. My as Chelsea stopped laughing. That's not nice. My hair fell out due to bleach and severe stress from their bullying. What? <laughs> okay, girl. You know what? We're just gonna. Um, so I'll give you say lying about this directly from people involved. Just because you got information directly from people involved does not mean that it's true. Um, I had a staph infection. That's when I had a staph infection in my eyebrow. Oh, yikes. That sucks. Hope she got that cleared up. My mom had a really, really, really bad staph infection once and like almost died. Uh, so I know it can be. I uh, told him I called the police, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, this is, I mean, no wonder Katie Joy doesn't fucking, <laughs> no wonder she doesn't go back and look at shit like this because it is exhausting. Um, that's when I had a staph infection in my eyebrow. Okay, good God. Slow nose torture for us dyslexic peeps. I have to wait to correct my comments. I'm sorry. I get you. I get you. Especially for people with ADHD, um, ADHD as well, because we will like we got a lot to say. <laughs> um, 
Why do they always use pictures from four years ago? I mean, you don't look that great in the ones from now either. So meaning like her facial expressions, she still makes like embarrassing facial expressions. Ones that are like perfect for um whatchamacallit. Perfect for uh what am I trying to say? Uh thumbnails. Jesus Christ. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm really, I'm really trying to find this where she was talking about me. And this is <laughs> Wiggum. Chill. Put your ears down, bud. He looks so noble right now. My goodness. He said, what's going on? Where, where are they going? What's going on? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, court boundaries, thinking this, Aaron relevant now, am I being, I'm being rude, report was heavily redacted, Steve's mental health, blah, blah, blah. Okay, maybe she said it after this. I don't know who you are. <sighs> I don't know who you are, said threat, cease and desist, remove videos. Uh, no, Nat doesn't write that. Oh my God, they don't know about threats. Girl, shut up. Just because you've received threats doesn't mean that other people haven't. This group is one that posts photos of my son and talks about his disability for sport. Uh, that's fucked up. Don't do that. Because again, that just lets allows people to play the victim. So glad I caught a live. Look at 2635. Girl, I'm already at fucking... One, f one, f uh, over almost two hours. Are you kidding me? It's way back there. 26, 30. Motherfucker. It is all the way back there. She was in this thing the entire time. She was just hiding. <sighs> That's annoying. Okay. I'm at 26, 30. Also, I told that girl not to delete her um, her channel because she, I need to fix my lash now because she um, like I, I told her I was like, I don't think you should delete your channel. Like you have valuable like valuable videos, valuable information regarding like cults and other stuff that you've covered. I was like, it would be a disservice to those people and people who you know need to see that information to delete that. So please don't do that. And um, I'm not saying that's why she didn't delete it yet. But I, I told her not to or suggested that she not do that. And um, I even said, I was like, please don't like, please don't do that. Like you, sh if you want to come back, like you should be able to have that option. And also if you delete it, like just don't do that. I was like, just delete the apps from your phone. There you go. That's it. And then come back when you want. Just take a, take a step back. Let the news cycle cycle. Let the crazies be crazy and let them scream into the void and you won't even see it. It's okay. You know? Yeah. Studies have found that autistic people socialize differently than uh, neurotypical people. We're too girly pop. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have it. Yeah, same. I've been waiting on list for ADHD assessment for ages. Really? That sucks. I'm sorry that you've been waiting so long. Thank God I got that diagnosis when I was real young. <laughs> My parents were like, Some, something ain't adding up here. Um, okay, and then this one says, good Lord. Uh, she said, I annoy myself sometimes, don't we all? <laughs> I'm not like other girls. I just wish people gave me a chance without this crap. Girl. <clears throat> I don't think people understand the actual um, the actual meaning of the word grift. People call me a grifter and it's like, mm, I changed my content and listen to analytics. 
So you call me lazy and dumb if I if I if I didn't do that. So okay, but yeah, um, I think it's funny when people put that out. This is it, is this this lady's accent or it? Is she's talking like she has like dentures. I've I've noticed that, oh, and that's not an insult or anything. It's just like that's what it sounds like. But I've noticed recently that I will like hyperfixate on when I'm listening to someone, like how they talk and like how their mouth moves. Girl, I swear I'm I'm more autistic after having a baby. It's fucking crazy. Oh, she's talking to her cat. I was about to be like, damn, talking to people in your comments like that? What? <laughs> okay. Let's speed this shit up a little bit because dear God. Oh my gosh. Someone said, I was disappointed that Cece Suarez jumped on the hate train. I don't hate her. Calm down. Also, how immature are you? Like, do you, someone, someone was like, you just lost someone by. And I was like, what are you talking about? They're like, why would you go after another creator? And it's like, do you know who I am or what my content is? Because I don't, I think you're confused. And they're like, why can't everyone just get along? And I'm like, this isn't preschool. Calm down. Oh my God, lady. Focus. Oops. No, I don't know who the fuck this lady's talking about now. She ain't talking about me. I just, listen, I don't want to be the type of person who's like, um, who's like, these people need to like get a job because bitch, I, this is my job <laughs> or I don't know. It's just being like this invested in something as like a third party just seems so weird. Um, did you ever buy HelloFresh? Yeah. We, Tony and I used HelloFresh for so long, um, and love it. We love that. And uh, Green Chef and Home Chef, we, lo we love all those things. I mean, they all they all have really good meals. With HelloFresh, it got a little bit redundant. Um, I think Green Chef was the one that we switched to, and I really liked that one. So if they ever um, wanted to sponsor me, I definitely would. But I know people don't like HelloFresh, and there's, like, issues with it. And it sucks when that happens because even, like, um, of 
better help. Like I used better help for so long for therapy and now I'm like, well, shit, now I need to like use a different one and then maybe get sponsored by them because I don't want people to get mad at me if I have them as a sponsor. I literally have to send over uh, like messages to my manager to or to my team with my the management company I'm with and be like, hey, can't be sponsored by this one or can't be sponsored by that one because there's like all these ethical conundrums because of the content I make. And they're like, oh, yeah, OK, that makes sense. I mean, even so, I like I'll I tell them to message me or send me like any offer so that I can review it and be like, oh, maybe or maybe not. Like even uh, like with Colin Broom, some of their advertising says like, um, oh, you can like lose weight with this. And it's like, well, obviously you're gonna, like if you're not bloated and like you're pooping and regular, like sure, yeah, you're probably gonna like lose weight, but it shouldn't be used for weight loss. Like that's not healthy. So um, I've even, you know, talked with them and I'm like, hey, like I specifically am not comfortable saying that you should use it for weight loss, um, but for being regular and like not feeling gross, go for it. Especially because, like, it's a fiber supplement. It's not that deep, you know? And it tastes yummy. Anyways, have you tried Factor? I've been wanting to. I have not tried that, um, but I will. I will definitely try that. Is union busting? Uh, like, they aren't letting their people unionize, right? Is that what that means? But I feel like I should know what that means. But uh, don't a lot of companies do that? Like a lot of, a lot of um, organizations, companies, departments, whatever, don't allow unions because it can like really fuck with them. Obviously, I yes, I think that everyone should be paid fairly and have all the good benefits and all that clearly, and know their rights and all those things. And it sucks that they're even like, it has to be a union for certain companies and industries and stuff like that. Because clearly there's a reason. Okay, that's better. Oh, but I can still feel that this one is not completely stuck. So I'm just going to hold this right here. Almost every corporation... A uh, job I've had was union. Last thing, actually asked earlier if you've done a better help deep dive. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I love I loved it. I used it for over a year to over two or three years, I think. And at first, I didn't. Um, I got paired up with a um, therapist that I didn't like, and I had a first um, first date with her, and I was not a fan of her. And then we just didn't fit. And then after that, I got another one and I really liked her a lot, like a lot, a lot. She's very professional. Um, she was younger. She lived in Florida and I don't know. She just like got me and helped me like she helped me to like talk myself through things and like walk through stuff with her. And then she would like challenge me and give me like tools and stuff. And it was really helpful. Um, but yeah, she was great. I loved her a lot. And then she... Um, stopped offering, like stopped doing work with a better help. I think she just started doing, like, I think she was moving or something. I don't know what happened, but it didn't have necessarily anything to do with better help. Um, I think she was just stopping her contract with them, but I really, really liked her a lot. She helped me so much. So yeah. Um, what are better help alternatives that are out there? Uh, there are a few. I mean, there's Talkspace. That one apparently has issues, though, too. I was, like, excited. I was like, oh, there's another one. And then what do you know? <laughs> that one has problems, too, apparently. So there are a few. I think there's one called, like, Arlo or something like that. And I don't want to be like, Google it. But that's what I try to teach y'all to do is Google it. Look it up, bud. And that's <laughs> exactly what I do, would do right now if I... Um, was trying to look that up. It's what I have done. Um, and I will continue to do probably later today when I'm doing some admin stuff because I really need to get back into consistent therapy. 
um, she probably didn't get paid enough through BetterHelp. I I think that probably is accurate. Um, and then with like their contracts, I'm pretty sure they can't like take clients from there. So you know what I should actually do? I should look up because like I have her information still and like emails from her and messages from her and stuff. So I should look up her. Um, I should just look up her information and see if I can just like go through her directly. So yeah, I should probably do that. I mean, I paid, I think it's a great, you know, option for people who, um, you know, want to just do like that, like maintenance type of therapy and like, you know, do all that. Definitely not good for like intensive therapy, but just to have someone to talk to and talk through shit with, you know, she was great. She, she really, really helped me a lot. She helped me realize that I had like a crazy preconceived um, perception idea about like money and like, like, well, if you're materialistic, that means like you're a bad person and, um, and, and all that. And she's like, no, it doesn't. She was like, you could just like, like you, that could just be something that interests you. And I was like, oh, I guess you're right. And like, I don't know. She was, she was great. I really liked her. So you know what? Y'all are real smart. You're helping me right now too. And suggesting that I are helping me to suggest to myself that um, I look that bitch up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll find her. I find you. And see if I can just go through there instead. Um, yeah, but it was only like $80 a week for me to have unlimited access to her. And sometimes, sometimes bitch, I'll talk to her twice a week. She, yeah, she really, really loved me a lot. I really liked her. Anyways, um, I normally check Reddit rather than Google because people are brutal on there. Bitch, that's when I search things too. I'll put in my question and I'll like search it and I'm like, nope, can't find anything. And then I'll search the question and then Reddit behind it. I'm like, here we are. Um, ba, 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 are often illegal. Starbucks is being fined, being forced into settlements. Uh, to the tune of millions for its behavior over the past couple of years. My therapy is uh, $1,101 a session. Yeah. My psychiatrist, which typically a psychiatrist is just to like get an official diagnosis and like do some testing and like get a script. I, I would see him meet him for like maybe 30 minutes. We wouldn't even really talk much. And he would just write me my script. And it was like, I think 80, anywhere from like 80 to 120. Uh, a month. And I was like, the fuck? And I remember I told my primary care physician that and he's like, why are you doing that? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I was like, wait, can you write me my script for my ADHD meds? And he's like, yeah. He's like, Chelsea, what are you doing? I was like, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. He's amazing. He just got more expensive too. <sighs> Healthcare is a fucking scam. I'll tell you. Older I get, the more I become a socialist. People will probably get mad that I just said that. Oh, llama li llama girl. Okay, she said timestamp starts at 2536. But like I'm in there and it doesn't say like it literally like it's not there. Because I went and looked and okay, I guess I'll just keep. Oh my god. Okay. I need fucking timestamps. Um, 100, my love, not found. What did I say? Off topic, your engagement ring is gorgeous. And engagement ring and wedding ring in one. Um, no, just my engagement ring. I don't wear a wedding ring. Just this is it. This is it. I don't want to have a billion rings on. I just have one. My sister-in-law has her big ring and then a diamond band and then two diamond bands. And I'm like, girl, how many are you getting? Why is my brother spending so much money? Um, <laughs> socialism. One of us. Google couple. One of us. For real. Often yeah, PC will only do ADHD meds if psych is already agreed. Yeah. No, I, I completely understand that. I, did, I didn't know that though. So yeah. 100. Not, okay. Well, I, girl, listen, I ADHD. I can't read numbers. <laughs> okay. I can't. That, that's the type of ADHD I got. Ugh. That's the type of autism I got too. I didn't get the like mathematical one. I got the, um, hyper fixation and 
chewing on ice one. <laughs> yes, I'm anemic. I don't need people to be like, you're probably anemic. I, girl, I know. Okay. Um, this is just going to keep going. You know what? I should put this on two times speed or yeah, two times playback speed. I'm just letting, letting it rip with this li other live stream I'm going through the chat with. I wish I could like get the full chat just like, like you can with a zoom call when you download a zoom call. Stupid. I'm new to your channel and have been loving it. You're amazing. Thank you. At the bottom of it starts. I've sent you the chat where she talks about you. So you said 20, 2140. Okay. I didn't, I didn't go that far back. Okay. Venti E1. Venti E2. All right. Playback speed to this. I'm so glad you took this to the police. What? Hold, hold on, hold, hold on, hold, hold on. She needs to get a hobby, bitch. This is my job. I do have hobbies. What? <laughs> Excuse me. What? That's amazing. Le wow, that's great. It's great. Mm, that sounds good. This person said, without a crystal ball, do you think CC is, at least they spelled CC, right? It's not that hard. It's two letters. Um, is that your natural curl? Girl, girl, you see what I'm doing? No, my hair is so fucking straight and just. Pfft. Anyways, um, oh, I'm about to like burn all my hair off. Good God. Um, this book, sorry, this person said without a crystal ball, do you think Cece is swayed by them? She has that boss girl vibe. What does that mean? <laughs> what? It's hilarious. Oh, I, this is, this is my favorite. This is my favorite hobby. Yeah. It's not a hobby if you get paid for it. That's a job. Okay. And then Katie Joy said she absolutely hates me and is aunt is totally on their side. What? <laughs> no, maybe I missed it. Is there a mention of the C of the video CC posted about uploading yesterday? So it's it wasn't uploaded yesterday. I'm very sorry. Um, it will most likely be uploaded today. I'm keeping my eye on my <laughs> on my email. Um so that uh, ba, 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 pinned comment. Oh, yikes. I need to do that later too. Um, yeah, I, what was I saying? Um, I'm waiting for sponsorship approval. It'll be up today. 
most likely, hopefully. Yeah. Um, I was getting so nervous about that piece of hair. <laughs> Yikes. Sorry. Um, Cece's horse. Good old seahorse swore is on it again. Um, your hunch print correct about her sources back when she used to talk shit about Farah Abraham. Oh, Farah, poor girl. Um, but 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 boo didn't realize the level of drama could <laughs> level of drama could occur. So confused if she's watching a video. Yeah, I'm I'm watching a um a just skimming through a uh, live stream. Yeah, I, I don't, because it's coming from my computer. I don't know if y'all would be able to hear it. You might be able to, I don't know. Are you afraid of a little competition? Wait, let me see. Let me let me let me let her finish that sentence. Who's me? No, um, Katie Joy and I are not uh, in competition with, with each other. We are completely different. Also, there's quite literally no such thing as competing with other creators on um, on YouTube because you can do. Like you can, you can watch two people that make the same type of content. It's literally not how that works. It's not how that works. Um, has anyone addressed KJ's alcoholism? Because no, because we're not doing that because we don't know if she is an alcoholic and we do not speculate on that type of shit over here. So please do not do that. I don't like that. Um, anyways, and that is not me being mean to you, but I just want to make that clear. Don't do that. I have had people try to use my, um, you know, my love of wine and things like that against me. And I don't like that shit. So I'm not going to do that to someone else. Okay. Thank you. You talk about totally different things. Shit is mostly reality TV. Yeah. And then like we talk about, like we both talk about like cults and stuff. So there is a little bit of crossover, but it's not competition. We aren't, we are not competing. If she is, I'm not in that race. She's at the starting line by herself that I'm not, I didn't buy a ticket to that. I'm not competing there. Um, we we might be in the same sport, but we're in completely different leagues. We're not competing. No. Addiction isn't a choice anyways. I agree. And as someone who went to rehab, went, went to years of treatment and all that, um, I, I, don't, I don't like that. So let's please not do that. Deal in facts and receipts only. Yeah, no, thank you. And opinions, obviously, but like, stop. And especially if someone's like, well, I think she's an alcoholic. And it's like, that's not, that isn't an opinion though. Like that is something that can be proven to be false. So therefore it's not an opinion. Anyways, what's KJ up to now? Being a piece of shit. That's my opinion. She's a piece of shit. Um, and yet she hasn't done that. And it's again, not competition. I don't know why she's like this, but apparently, and in my opinion, from what I have seen, it seems as though Katie Joy has done this with literally everyone who has ever covered anything, even slightly similar to her. She did it to Emily D Baker. She's done it to Angelique, um, not Angelique, my God, Angelica Oles and Dustin Daly and, um, Nick Snyder and, I think Sloan as well, just like a bunch of fucking other people who have covered similar things to her. And she goes batshit insane. And it's crazy. I don't, and again, not saying that is a fact. That is my own opinion and my own all that bullshit. Could you imagine live inception, her, her watching you watching her? Oh my God. Fucking could you? That'd be amazing. I'd love that.
Um, this person, okay. So Katie Joy was talking about me when she was saying all this bullshit. Um, so she, that is a fact then that this person was talking about me and so was Katie Joy. And she's saying that I have been nasty to her in emails. Then show the emails, Katie Joy, show them, show those emails because you're lying. So, I mean, it could be your opinion that I was nasty to you, but that's, that's delusional. That's not a, um, that is not a, an accurate representation of what happened. So could that be slander? I mean, kind of to make me look bad, I guess. Yeah. But I'm also a public figure and it wouldn't, I wouldn't have a case for a defamation because in no way, shape or form is she making me, um, or causing me to lose money. There are no damages. She's damaging herself, in my opinion. Such a... Jesus Christ. I don't hate her. I am quite... I, I dislike her. Of course, I dislike her content and her in general and how she interacts with people. I don't hate her. I don't have that much of... I don't have that much passion behind any feelings towards her. Disliking someone and their content does not mean you hate them. That's crazy. I've reposted your respectful email. She's completely delusional. Yeah, so that that's wild. And I read it in my video that's coming up. I absolutely read it. I showed it. I showed it on Instagram. I showed it on, uh, I was about to say TikTok. I showed it on Twitter too. Blah. So good. Glad to know that she was talking about me specifically. Um, okay. And then, <laughs> and then she said, um, no, the next thing she said was, we don't compete. I I cover polygamy. Okay. Um, and they said it's pathetic that they, what they do to anyone against KJ. I'm no KJ fan, but it's pathetic. Yeah, people are fucking crazy, but it's the internet. Um, that's the most honest and relatable thing I've ever heard you say, KJ. Is it? Uh, I want. Da, 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 da. It's all driven harder by Steve. God, these people really have a hard on for that guy, don't they? I annoy myself sometimes. I wish they'd give me a chance. And then she says good night, and then she like comes back so many times. I dislike it. Anyways, okay, all right, I'm done with that now. Now that I have confirmed that she was talking about me. So let's go ahead and what happened to dismantling cults? What happened to being delusional? She's still doing that. Um, now let's read this email that I sent her, shall we? Where is it? There it is. For any of you who have not seen it, even though I've posted it everywhere and I read it in the video that I'll be posting today too. I said, good morning, Catherine. I'm working on a video regarding the current situation between you and an individual named Sharla and several other content creators. If you are not comfortable with this, please disregard this request. Um, uh, two years ago, when I emailed you asking for a statement, I was met with a less than positive response. However, I am hopeful that this time will be different. Below are a few questions. I am not stating anything below as a fact or insinuating that any of it is true at all. I am simply asking your opinion regarding these points. Have a wonderful day. And I said, what do you say to those who think that you cross boundaries with individuals involved in the stories you report on, or rather that you get too involved? And then the next one, it has been alleged that you have docs threatened and harassed multiple individuals previously, including but not limited to Katie Parker and Renell Smith. Would you be able to elaborate on this topic? Hey, stop within your policies, please, Google. I love you. Um, oh, sniffles. Um, and then, um, there has been speculation that every time, what did I say? That every time a lawsuit is not going in your favor, you will stir up drama and manipulate viewers to see you as a victim of harassment, stalking, et cetera. Would you say that this is false? In a live stream recently, you mentioned multiple times that it's the same group. Are you of the belief that people, that all of the people who have spoken out against you are all working together? Thank you for your time. Kindly and assertively, CC Suarez. Like, how is, how is that nasty? Please, please. Even if you think I'm like the biggest bitch in the world, even if you think that I'm like so passive aggressive, that I'm like just so snooty and holier than thou and blah, 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 blah. 
wild. Like what are, that is delusional to think that that would like as a professional and as someone who like, yeah, sure. I'm doing a live stream right now doing my hair. I literally will itch the inside of my nose on camera. Not pick my nose. I'm not digging for gold up there, but like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I might drink on camera. I might get a little bit spicy sometimes, but like, you may be able to hear my bulldog snoring, but regarding interactions with others in regards to my job, when it comes to like getting a statement or whatever, or interviews or anything like that, absolutely. Yes. I'm going to be professional. It would be a disservice to myself and my professional reputation to do otherwise. Journalism is harassment. If you're not, if you're not Katie Joy. Yeah. So like, what are, like, what are you talking about? This woman is absolutely insane. Katie believes that 20,000 plus people are one small group of maybe 15 creating sock accounts to go after her. Delusion. I just, wow. Hi, I've never made it to a live. Yay. It's truly, truly wild. You spoke truth. She operates in an echo chamber, so she has to make up shit for her subs. I mean, it, well, the thing is, is that I stated that, like, I don't, I'm not stating any of that as truth, you know? I'm not insinuating that any of it's true at all. I'm simply just asking what you think about what other people have said. That's it. No, Wiggy. 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 I know you're excited, Bob. I know. So, I don't know, man. That's just, it's annoying. This is my first live. Do I get to be eternally spicy now? If you're subscribed, yeah, then you're eternally spicy. Um, uh, what lashes are those? These are the full volume set ones. Uh, Lash Couture by Kiss, um, by Kiss Lashes. You use the word assertively, and she seems to have mistaken assertively for aggressively. <laughs> that would be such a crazy email signature. That's in, that'd be insane. Her ability to exaggerate is top notch. What's he excited about? Um, because Tony's dad's here. And Abuelo is one of his favorite people. So he's very excited that Abuelo's here. But they're doing stuff and like move. We got a, um, a new gun safe. And so they, I think, are moving our old one or have already done that or have already picked up the new one. And have moved it in. I don't, I don't know. I haven't looked. I just told them that I am live streaming so that Tony doesn't come in here and like honk my boob or something. <laughs> I had someone ask me once, they were like, why do you have to let your husband know that you're live streaming? And I'm like, because I want him to know so he can like consent. <laughs> right? Like, like that would be weird if I didn't. Someone was like, is he going to say something bad? And I'm like, I mean, maybe not like hateful and rude or racist or anything like that but he he might come up to me and be like hey want to go to pound town who knows yeah hong kong bitch he might he might um might have to change my signature to aggressively yours i cannot that's amazing so he doesn't come in doing the helicopter exactly <laughs> so he's not just dick swinging you know uh just saying you're yeah just yeah just like saying you're on speakerphone exactly Yeah, I remember someone tried to say that once. They were like, oh my gosh. Like, what would you say? It's like, I mean, in the privacy of your own home, what do you walk around and do and say? Probably things that you don't want hundreds of people, sometimes thousands of people to see. Like, what? I don't want to be spicy. I want to be sploy. Baby, you can stay sploy all you want. Um... Yeah, so I now that I've confirmed that she was talking about me, Jesus Christ, like it's just a perfect example of like she she's not gonna show facts. She's not gonna show anything regarding what she is accusing someone of. She's just gonna say, Well, this happened. Did it? Show the email. Show all of the emails that I've sent you. Every single email that I have sent her has been nothing but professional. Even the ones from Two, two years ago, a year and a half ago from August, 2022. Those were also quite professional where she went off on me and then went off on a live stream. It's like, what are you talking about? 
Now, don't get me wrong. I've said that she can suck my butt and like, <laughs> I, I've definitely been rude about her on, on live streams and been, you know, throwing shade and all that or whatever you want to call it, reading her. But I've never been nasty in emails and I've never stalked her. I've never harassed her. I've simply given my opinion because guess what? That's what I do on my channel. I give my opinion regarding internet things and public figures and all of that. Baby doggo. Yeah, he right there. He tip tapping. He tip tapping. Oop. Married life. Yeah. <sighs> when we'll get excited and be uh, um, aggressive, kindness, and interesting signature. Um, yeah, mine says, uh, is, is Wiggum allowed to be with them, allowed to be out with the men? Well, they, they have like the door open and stuff and like they're doing things. So I, I we want to keep him in here right now. And Wiggum will absolutely run down the road <laughs> if we have the door open. He gets too excited. He gets too excited. He just wants to be in here with Mama. Yeah. And he will like get all over everybody. And it's like, Wiggum, calm down. <laughs> like, get it together. Yeah. And I don't want like Abuelo to like fall over and, you know, doggos being dogs. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Holy Smokes, your video about KJ was from 2022. Life is going by too fast. Correct. Yeah, it was in 2022. Oh, Lord. How are late? Probably going to end up being part of the replay crew. Yeah. Some people ask the strangest questions. I feel like, uh, I like that wave crimper. Ugh. I have to get one. It's from Target. I think it's from by Conair. No, Remington. It's by Remington. I'm a pushover when it comes to my dogs. How old is Wiggum? He's four. He will be five in ugh, July. I really need to wash my hair tonight. <laughs> Shit is rough right now. Real rough. Ugh, okay. Everyone that covers KJ only ever shows proof of her own words and her videos. I mean, that's what I did in my first video about her because she kept saying, like, if this person is your source, then blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, Katie, no, you are my source. Like, I'm getting my information straight from your own videos and what you have specifically said. And don't get me wrong. And, like, let me make this clear. I am absolutely, like, I am not perfect. I have said probably fucked up things. Definitely. Who hasn't? And things that I will retract or go back on. And, you know, we're, we're allowed to change our mind. That's a billion percent. Okay. 1 million percent. Okay. We grow, we learn, we do better all that shit. Right. It's okay to change your mind. Like I remember when I was pregnant, I was like, y'all are never going to like see my kid. But then I was like, okay, shit. It's, it's a lot harder to like completely hide your child from the internet is especially when they're a little baby. <laughs> um, so like when he has like his own shit going on, then okay, I'll be able to like not have him on the internet. But I went back on that. And some people are like, oh my God, you're a hypocrite. I'm like, no, I changed my mind. We're allowed to change our mind. We're allowed to change our opinions. We're allowed to grow. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's that. Um, but the thing is, is that in regards to that, like it's not necessarily like Katie Joy doesn't necessarily do that as often. I don't know. It's real, real weird. She bounces back and forth more than a tennis match. I don't know. It's just very, very, I, I really think that like doing live streams is, I don't want to say like the death of her, but I feel like that's something that has really gotten her like in trouble and into a lot of the situations that she gets herself in. Just don't do it. Don't, don't do that. For instance, when I, not saying she gets drunk, but like when I get drunk, after two drinks, guess who does not have access to their phone? <laughs> guess who does not touch their phone? Me. Can't do that? No, no, no. And it's not because I'm going to say awful shit. It's that sometimes I just let her rip. <laughs> um, a great example of this on, and it's not like, like bad stuff, obviously, because I'm not a bad person. However, <laughs> um, not me having two glasses of yeah, two glasses of cab. Yeah. 
uh, last was the last Monday, I think last Monday, Monday before, I think it was last Monday and came home, saw that girl defined posted saying that marriage should only is only is only between a man and a woman. And their mom, their mom, Heidi commented on it and said, amen. And I commented under it and I said, Oh, fuck off, Heidi. Would I have done that if I was completely, um, if I did not have any alcohol in my system? Maybe not. However, I've learned that it's just best to let it rip. <laughs> yeah. And people loved it. <laughs> there are, there are literally people in the, uh, the fundy, the fundy snark, um, Reddit page or one of them that someone commented that and someone else was like, oh my God, that's canon. And I was like, Oh my God. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I'm honored. Thanks guys. Yeah. I, I have issues. Um, but also, yeah, fuck that lady. It's, it's more so like I, it's not like, Oh, I say shit that gets me in trouble. It's just that I absolutely 1 billion percent do not hold back when I am like that. Literally after two glasses of wine, I can fucking not, but it's not like I'm saying anything like cancelable. It's that I'm going harder. <laughs> In regards to the people that I make videos about, you know, shitty people. I think I'm just going to, cause like someone asked me, uh, what was it yesterday? Yeah. At the zoo yesterday, I met a new mom friend yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, we're in like one of the same like mommy groups for like our local people. And, um, she asked me, uh, she was telling me what she does for work. And then she was like, Oh, what do you do for work? And um, and I was like, well, and I like explained it, but I, I explained it like too long. So I think I'm just going to start saying, um, I make videos about shitty people on the internet. Like, I think that's, cause like that sums it up really. Cause it's like scammers and unethical influencers and like other bullshit. <laughs> you know, I think that's good. Howdy comrades. <laughs> I love that greeting. That's amazing. Um, got my daughter a crimper curler, like the one you're using from TJ Maxx. Is that the rose gold one? Uh, yeah, that's rose gold. It's the Remington one. They probably have it there too. I got mine at Target though. And it was like 20 bucks, I think. It was very cheap. I had the bedhead one, but that one was like too, too crimpy. This one's more like wavy, which I like better. Yeah. I don't know where the... I don't know where the bedhead one went. I don't, yeah, it's not down there. I also have a straightener too, because I'm a cool kid, which I literally don't even know why I have one, but you know, I think it's, I, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you why I have that. Um, you are a content creator. Well, yeah, but people like don't, like when I say, oh, I'm a YouTuber, they're like, oh, what do you make videos about? Then I'm like, oh, well, scams, multi-level marketing companies, uh, unethical influence. It's like, okay, just say one thing. So it's just easier if I'm like, I talk shit on the internet <laughs> or like, oh, I, I, you know, I talk about scams. That's usually, I mean, that's typically what I say, but sometimes I get nervous. I don't know what to say. As a straight hair girly flat irons are nice for flyaway pieces. Yeah. That. And then also, um, sometimes I'll use it to iron my clothes. <laughs> So that's good. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta. Um, I have the bed head when I live up to the super long hair. Yeah. Woo. It's the same one. It's on sale for $15. Hell yeah, girl. Oh, that seems like it's burning. Oh, well. Uh, you told me you make content about shitty people. I would instantly subscribe. Well, please do. I make content about shitty people. I mean, most, most people do that are like, that I meet, they're like, oh, that's cool. Let me, let me look at it. And I'm like, but like not in front of me, watch it later, <laughs> please. Cause this is awkward. The guy who patented the curling iron also invented the automatic machine gun. Awesome. Um, the guy who the Nobel prize is named after invented dynamite. Just so you know. What's his face? Nobel. Yeah. 
Well, that's not working. I hear my baby. I, he I hear your baby. I hear your brother. Let's see what he's doing. If he's just playing or if he's squirming and getting frustrated and says, hey, you come here. I mean, okay, if I could like get into my phone, that'd be really great. What's he reaching for? What is he doing? Oh, there he goes. Okay. Oh my God. He's so funny. Okay. I got, I got it. I got it. There's movement detected. Okay. I used to crimp my hair with the old school crimpers in like the eighties. I did it in the uh, early two thousands. I like loved it, but it was again, more like crimpy and not wavy. And this is more waves. But it just makes my head real big, my hair real big. And then, um, I don't know. I like it. Okay. Y'all, the back of this chair is like coated <laughs> in hairspray. Which is why I have two of them. Two chairs. No, I really have two chairs because Tony liked my chair so much. He's like, oh, let me get one. And I was like, what? You don't have a desk. Why do you, why do you need a desk chair? What are you doing? He's a funny one. This is the one that he got. But now I like this one better. So it's kind of good that he got his. Um, don't light a candle near the hair. Oh, no, no, no. No, we don't, we don't get too close to fire in this household. Is he back asleep? That crazy little boy. Okay, um, I did them bump it with cramps, girl. Yeah, I did. I did this in high school a good, a good bit. And that was the, um, that was back in the snooky days. I would do the, see, but my hair was like straight though when I would do it, just pin straight. And you'd do this, but you'd like tease it first. And then you'd have it like up like that. And you'd be wearing like a, like that though and you'd be wearing like a bodycon dress with feather earrings oh. oh my gosh and like drinking Smirnoff ice and three olives loopy girl <laughs> yeah trying to get into VIP if you have to pay to get into VIP it's not actually it, you're not a VIP <laughs> like I oh. <laughs> anyways oh god not 2007 <laughs> girl. Uh, <sighs> Lord. All right. Hi, Barbie. The shirt's from Target. All my Barbie shirts and stuff are from Target. It's so funny when he like plays, like just plays in his crib with shit. Like he has a little lovey in there and then he has um a binky. Sometimes he hoards binkies in there and then I ha it's flopped over so he can't get it. But sometimes I have, um, like the like car, um, uh, like the car toys that will like hang from whatever. I have a few of those like attached to the side, but it's again flopped over so we can't touch it right now. But he'll like just play with them and ring them, and it's my favorite. Anyways, my eight girls would be like, see. <laughs> um, I actually tried Saint eyeshadows for a video, so expensive and shit. Yeah. Oh hey, Kiki. Uh, makes me sad. I only have boys and they don't want to do hair. Are you caught up with the New Jersey Shore family vacation season? I have never watched that. Maybe I watched like the first one. I don't remember. Wait, um, please don't do that. Well, that's rude. I don't need you to talk back to me. I just don't want you to lick the love sack because then I have to wash it again. I love you. He's such a silly boy. Love your dark hair. Thank you. Um, so I'm newish. Uh, what did KJ do? It's what's so bad about her genuinely curious. Where do I start? Um, so a great example of her twisting information and, um, and, uh, rewriting history to push her own narrative is this. So she was in the comment section of someone's live stream last night, I think saying uh, that I hate her and that I am 
so nasty in all caps, nasty to her in emails. And I just read off the email that I sent to her um, two days ago asking for a, a statement request. Like that's completely normal with the job that me and her do. And um, am I too red for a little bit of blush? Maybe. Um, this blush is amazing, by the way. Sorry, Detour. Uh, the Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint by Ciate London. Love it. This was gifted to me. And so was this. The um, mascara. Sorry. Anyways. So um, I sent her an email that absolutely in no way, shape, or form was nasty. I have never emailed her anything nasty, but she's claiming that I have sent her like nasty, harassing emails. Never. Ever. I have never done that. Um, she has also never shown the emails that I have sent her, and I have. So, you know? Um, yeah, so I mean, that's, and I personally just don't like her content. I think it's very lazy. I don't like how um, how she interacts with people, the way that she like calls people out and just goes like so, like makes accusations and shit is just like not okay in my mind. Like, a lot of times without solid evidence and proof and all that. Again, that's just my own opinion. It's okay if someone thinks differently. Um, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of that. Uh, she, someone says she also does background checks on... Oh, hey, Spoiled Artist. Haven't seen you in a, in a bit. Hope you're well. Um, someone said she... Uh, spoiled Artist said she does background checks on people and uh, discloses legal information about people. That has nothing to do whatsoever with the drama that the person is in. Um, I have heard that quite a bit as well. And um, she, and then the way that she interacts with other creators too is just not, I'm just not a fan of it. I don't think it's professional. And that's, uh, is the email from a few years ago that you showed in your video on her, it was super normal and not mean spirited at all. Exactly. If you want to see the email that I, our email exchange from a year and a half ago as well, you can go watch that video because if I'm going to state something, and say that you're wrong about something, I'm going to show evidence. I am going to lay that out for you. Um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely wild. It is so wild. And I, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't think that's, that's okay to do. Um, to say that that type of shit without I don't know, just, and all these blanket statements that she'll make. And she's saying that like, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and I'm going to write a hit. I'm going to make a hit piece. And it's like, was my last video a hit piece? No, I gave my opinion. I showed that you were wrong about multiple things and used your own words against you and doing the same thing this time. And when I actually put out my, what the fuck is that? When I actually put out my full comprehensive timeline chronological are you on top chat no i'm on live chat um uh a deep dive video on you which will probably come out in like two months three months uh depending on how all that goes and just my life in general then yeah i'm like that's also not a hit piece because i mul at multiple times have asked you for a statement i have asked you to clarify things I have used your own statements. A hit piece is more one-sided. It's not one-sided. And just because I don't agree with you on certain things doesn't mean it's one-sided. Just because I don't like you and I'm making a video about you doesn't mean it's one-sided. I've even agreed with her multiple times. I also say, don't fucking talk about her kid. Don't do that. Now, sure, it's okay to point out inconsistencies. That's fine. But don't talk about her kid. Don't try to diagnose her with personality disorders or whatever the fuck. Don't, you know, s try to insinuate or s accuse her of being an alcoholic um, or, you know, any of that shit. Just don't do that, please. Don't do that. Again, that makes it easier for her to try to twist people's words and paint herself as a victim, which, hey, I definitely do think that people have been crazy. And I don't doubt that people have harassed and stalked her and doxxed her and all that shit. Absolutely. She's a content creator that a lot of people don't like. Of course that's happened to her. However, I do think that she, I am of the opinion that she has embellished quite a lot throughout her time on the YouTubes and on social media. Um, she's always wrong. I don't think she's always wrong. 
I just uh, tend to disagree with her on quite a lot. Now, where is my little thingy for my, for my glasses? I feel like it's right in front of me and I'm missing it. That's usually the case. Um, your hair looks great. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love wearing my hair like this. It makes me very happy. I'm trying to find my little glasses thing. My little, my little glasses case. Oh, there it is. Sometimes I'll <laughs> put like glass cleaner on my glasses because they get super smudge city because I'm a greasy bitch. I'm just kidding. I'm not greasy. I have normal to dry skin, but you know, fingers and oil and all that. Hello from Germany. Hey girl. I've heard great things about Germany. Y'all got good benefits. Y'all got all the shit going on. Um, in that, I don't think that she could have shared so much of his, oh, that she shouldn't have shared so much of his medical history in the early years. Yeah. I think she, if I was her, I would regret that too. But you know, I've, I've shared shit that I wish I wouldn't have as well. Being a content creator, a lot of people, um, would, I feel like a lot of us would go back and change stuff that we've shared or withhold certain information for our own privacy and other shit like that. I would never talk about my family. I would probably not use my real name. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of us probably do that. Did you do anything for Valentine's day? I, um, we don't typically like celebrate Valentine's day much. Um, sometimes we'll go to dinner. It's not really a big deal for us. We're not really like gift givers in regards of how we accept love. Um, so not really. I mean, he got me flowers and um, I got him a shirt and a chocolate uh, heart that realistically I'm probably going to eat that today. <laughs> so, you know, it's snowing. Wonderful. Not snowing here. Um, just started watching. Love your opinions. Thanks, bud. I try to, I mean, I don't know. I just, I try to be as logical as possible. I also, th that's one aspect of like my ADHD and being uh, diagnosed, um, with, uh, ASD that I really do think is <laughs> like that combination is really my like superpower, but then it's also like, it's my son and also my kryptonite. Like if I was, I was about to say Spider-Man, if I was Superman, um, you know, it it's, makes it so that I'm able to hyper fixate and research and like really get shit done and, and all that. And, you know, keeps me very, um, like logical when it comes to certain stuff and like takes emotion out of a lot of stuff for me. But then again, like it can be my downfall when like, I'll think that someone's saying, someone's saying something negative or like I, when like they're joking, like in comments. And a lot of times it's like hard for me to like register that and, and all that. And then people will be like, you're a bitch, you're a mean girl. And it's like, I no no, it's just how I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, it sounds like you just don't like my personality. Um, or people will be like, oh my gosh, before I talked to you, like I was so intimidated and I'm like, that's just my face. Sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, I'd say I'm pretty nice. It's just like, I'm not gonna like go out of my way. And I don't know, it's just, it's not all sunshine and rainbows and butterflies. And I'm not like super sweet and a Disney princess. I'm more so a Targaryen. Who are you trying to fight? What are you doing? Wig them. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Come here. Come. Yeah. I don't know who you're trying to get sassy with, but you better stop it. <laughs> Crazy. That shit takes real practice or a mental health diagnosis. Um, I'm a bitch and I'm also autistic. Yeah. I've gotten so many things my whole life now too. Are you talking about Katie Joy and the... Without a crystal ball lady. Yes, I have been talking about this during, during, have been talking about her during this live stream and just proving her wrong, but regarding her interactions with me. So you can definitely see my green bra, which was also gifted to me by Parade, who's also a sponsor of this channel. I love Parade. I still need to order more of their uh, little briefs that they have because they're so Okay. Bookcases look amazing. Thank you. I agree. I love them. 
I put the flower, the flowers that Tony got me right there. And then there's my mushroom lamp that uh, Tony's sister got me for Christmas. I was going to put it in Bean's room and I was like, no, nah, I want it. <laughs> I don't think this is mine now. Nothing like stealing something from your kid. Um, if he's older and wants it, then I'll give it to him. But I want it. Oh, he's trying to sit up. Oh, he's so cute. Um, yeah, so that's that on that. I just find it super interesting that it's like, why, like, why are you going to say that stuff when it's like, all I have to do is just show the email and then people will see that you're lying. Like it's, it's really, I don't know. It's just really interesting because it's like, okay, well, was it something that she could have interpreted a different way? But then it's like how not self-absorbed, but how, how disconnected with like reality do you have to be? to like to interpret what I said in a diff like in a different way I don't know man it, it's just it's so crazy it's so crazy I forgot I made a cart yeah I need to I need to do that now or today or sometime this week so that I can remember to order next week I've been making little mushroom lamps. I love it. I love that for you. Have you tried skims bras? They're literally amazing. I haven't yet but I they're shapewear that's all I wear. I have so so many I love skim shapewear is oh my god it's amazing um do you wear falsies with glasses sure do sure do these also like aren't super I mean even if I do have it have them like sitting where normal glasses would sit these are blue light glasses but my I, I guess my lashes are kind of touching it but I wear them further down here yeah. And I typically only wear these while I am working. I didn't for a long time, but now I have to again because my eyeballs have been burning because I am working so much now. Uh, 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 uh. That's not nice. We talked about that. That's not nice. I know you're overexcited. You want to go say hi, but you can't. But I do love you. Okay. Calm down. I know. Good Lord. Um, she's probably betting that people are in her corner and would never actually check the email, but see that like, that's, I don't know, man. I don't want to have that type of audience. Like y'all, y'all correct me all the time. Y'all like, and not in a mean way, like, and I love that. And I've even said that in videos and I'll be like, I don't know. Is that true? Who knows? And then I'll be like, sure y'all will fucking let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. And sometimes I am and that's okay. And I will literally like tag or I'll like get some, I'll get something wrong. Like I'll switch around something or like misremember something. And then a lot of times what I will do is I will comment on it. I'll be like, oh my God, thanks for the insight. Or, oh my gosh, thanks for sharing this. Or if it's like something like real good, I'll be like, perfect. Love that. I'm going to pin this comment. You know, like it's okay to be wrong, but I don't want people who are just going to blindly believe every single little thing I say, because I don't want to be wrong. So they're like, I, I want to be right. <laughs> I don't want to put out misinformation. So I don't want people who are just going to blindly believe everything that I say and not be like, oh, hey, actually, that's not right. Like, here's this source. Like, here you go. Like, that that's the type of community and the type of following that I appreciate more because it's more so like, oh, wow, y'all like do have my best interest. Like, y'all do want the content to be good. You do want the content to be right. You do want me to thrive. You're not just going to believe everything that someone says. Like, that's not that's not helpful. That's like in a relationship. Like, do you want someone who calls you out and who wants you to do better? Or do you want someone who just bl blindly is a yes man and is technically enabling your bad behavior? No, you don't. I don't work. I don't know what you want, but I don't want that. So one of my favorite things about Tony is that, yes, he's 1 billion percent always going to have my back. But he will also, once we're in the car or something, he'll be like, hey, by the way, you kind of were wrong about this. And this is why I'm blah, blah, blah. And like, let's talk about it. But like, that man will always have my back. Always. No matter what. Or he'll be like, hey, actually, you are wrong about this. But hey, you're not going to speak to her like that. Or, uh, you know, always protect. But always keep accountable, you know? Yeah. Um, ordered the pack of those off of Amazon. She blocked me ages ago. So I don't see KJ drama. She blocked me too, but I still see the shit. I'm still sent it. I'm um, not watching a hot second, but Jesus, uh, uh, you're looking awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Would you ever comment on their post of screenshots of the emails redacting anything, any personal information? Wait, what? Shelby, what do you mean? Would you ever comment on their posts of screenshots of the emails? 
I don't know. I don't know what you mean. She resembles a dictator. <laughs> Will you stop? <laughs> stop that. Stop that. I would just say that she resembles someone who is on her high horse and thinks that she can do no wrong and that she's better than everyone. And it's like, girl, no, you are not. I truly do think that you, and I've said this so many times that, you know, your audience act in a fool. Sure. It's not your fault, but it is your problem because you will, <sighs> how do I want to say this? Not fester. What's the word? You curate and set the stage for your following. For instance, I always say, hey, don't be a dick to this person. Do not bully this person. This is not okay. And even in my comment sections, if people say things that are so stressed, <laughs> it's like, I just want to see a bolo. Um, if people say things that are like really fucked up and sometimes, yes, I will delete the comment. But if it's like on like the border, like on that line, like teetering, I will comment and be like, Hey bud, let's not do that. Or Hey, that's not okay. Something like that. Right. And I think that's so, so important to do. And I've even said to y'all, you can share facts. Do, I mean, obviously I'm not your mom, I'm not your real dad. Okay. But I kind of am, but like, please do not be like that. Do not dox people. Do not, you know, sure. Doxing isn't illegal in most states, but it's sure as fuck unethical and using it in order to harass and threaten and intimidate someone. Yes, it is. Um, don't look up people's information. Don't go to their accounts. This is not a petting zoo. This is a fucking museum. You're just looking at stuff. You're not touching it. This is not an immersive experience. So I think that's really important. And you should not, you should not stoop down to these people's level and just be a dick for no reason. Obviously there's a difference between just having an opinion. For instance, I've said multiple times, like, yeah, don't just rip apart someone's looks. But there's a difference between that and then me being like, my autistic ass cannot stop hyperfixating on Katie Joy's chin whenever she goes live <laughs> or whenever I see a video of hers. I'm just staring at that and like, hey, stop that. Um, and then like seeing like over the years how it's like shifted and shifted and shifted. It's like, that looks so fucking painful. I'm more like fascinated from like that aspect. Like, girl, go get that fixed. But like, holy shit. Like, good. Wow. That look, it looks so painful. So painful. And it makes me, it makes my my body hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, that sucks. Well, that's not good. Um, Wiggum, it's okay. You don't need to fix it or sniff it or step on it. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it's like, oh my god, that's crazy. From what I when what I remember, someone said that she uh what well, she's gonna say, I'm like trashing her looks. I'm not, I don't, I don't care. I'm I'm not attracted to you, but you're also not my type. Uh, but yeah, she had, from what I remember, I don't know this to be true, but from what I remember, someone had previously said that she got a, that she admitted to getting a chin implant or something like that, which is also like, why do you got to admit to it? Like, who cares? Get it. Go for it, babe. Um, I'm also like very, like, I'm, I don't want to say obsessed, but like, I love, learning about and being educated on like fillers and cosmetic surgeries and like the medical that in general and shit like that. Right. Like I don't, it's your body. Who cares? Unless you have like some type of shit, like, um, body dysmorphia and like think that that's going to like solve all your problems. That's not how that works. But anyways, um, oh my God, I'm finding yours too. Shit. I'm obsessed with this. Anyways. So yeah, just like from that aspect of it, like that's what I'm talking about. And from what I remember, someone had said, or someone had said that she had said some shit like that, that she had gotten a chin implant and then like, it like came out of like, it's like shifted or something. And I'm like, oh my God, what? I didn't know that could happen. That's fucking terrifying. Huh. I know that like boobs can do that. Like they, if they don't like fall into place correctly, if you don't wear your, um, your nano bra for like ever. You gotta wear that shit for like a year sometimes. Oh God. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, shit's crazy, man. Drama and Opinions is an excellent channel if you need any more background info for a potential future deep dive. She's quick, thorough, articulate, concise, and hilarious. Love that. I want someone to someone to call me that. Um, I'll uh, I'll check into her for sure. I also I also of course want to make sure I'm getting 
like comments and stuff can be doctored. So that's why when people have been like, oh, here, I can send you like this something, something, something she sent me or like this court document. That's why I always say like, um, okay, if you're going to send me this, I need you to send me the link, like sure, a screenshot, whatever, but like the link to the actual um, like case number, document number, fucking not folio number. That's... <laughs> That's with property records, but you know, something from like Pacer or like an official site to where I can actually look it up and make sure it is legit. Right. Um, cause I like, that's spooky to me too, to potentially do that. What is he doing? I love watching him. It's my favorite. Oh, daddy's in DR. Oh, no, Abuelo. Abuelo went and got him. Oh, that's so funny. I kind of want to listen to them in there. I'm trying to eavesdrop. <laughs> um, oh, late to the party, but did she get Charlotte on the web taken off YouTube? Uh, hold on, let me... Sorry, Tony and his dad, and uh, they just came in, but um, <laughs> they got everything moved. But Tony was like, and of course, my dad almost took off his finger, and he comes in and he has like a, it's like all wrapped up, and he's like, yeah, he's probably gonna need stitches. I'm like, abuelo, <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. I love him so much. Um, yeah, so he's visiting with them real quick, and I'm gonna sign off with you, and then I'll go get my baby from him. Um, anyways. And then go look at our new, uh, our new, uh, uh, gun safe that we just put in, which is exciting. Fireproof and waterproof, babe. Chelsea loves seeing you be a mama. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, she kept breaking terms of service, I believe. How, how was she, um, does anyone know if the books on that bookcase are real? Let's see. I need to fix that. There's like two that are in his room that are missing right now. So I need like three more green ones. I, yeah, I have like three more green ones to fill that in. Um, yes. So almost all of them are real. Uh, so the, I'm pretty sure you can tell which ones are fake. So uh, these right here, the ones that are like perfectly, those are a cardboard. Uh, these are fake. Those are real, real, real fake. Fake, fake, fake. And then almost all the pink ones are fake because it's so hard to, like pink is one of the hardest ones to find. Um, and then like five or six of the, those ones are fake, but all the, all the black, almost all the red, all the turquoise, I mean, almost all the yellow, all, all of the green are real. 
and all the black are real except for that bottom one right there. But yeah. Um, but I did that because I had a bunch of y'all who were like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to send you one. And I was like, awesome. Okay. And then I've only gotten one so far. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> like, I thought people were sending me them. So I feel, I just filled them in. Cause I was like, I need this to be done. Um, so for instance, to fill in the red one that someone sent me up there, I just took out one of the fake ones and then I'm just going to like put it somewhere else. Um, yeah. So, um, I am gonna go. Tony's leaf blowing outside my door. Um, so I'm going to go. Uh, but do you feel comfortable doing a video about girl talk? Like your first time, my first time having sex or like my first time, what? No, y'all don't need to know that. <laughs> Ew. No, no, I don't. I, I don't talk about that stuff. Um, no, y'all don't need to know that much about my personal life or my like past or anything like that. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's not my content. Um, no offense to you. If you want to watch that, that's, you're not going to find that on my channel though. Um, well, I show, I was just showing my husband, your bookshelf. Very pretty. Thank you. Um, do you buy books based on sp yeah, spine color? That's what it is. So all of those are hardcover and none of them have the, um, the sleeves on them. So I will like tip them out when I'm at a thrift store and see like the spine color and then buy them based off that. So, Oh, that's super uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, hey, Austin. Hello. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been to a, a thrift store in a bit. I'll probably go at the end of this month and I'll probably like measure out and see like how many I need for like each color because that's really what I need to do. I need to figure out like, okay, I need like 10 or 12 more purple. I need like this many pink and like fit like exactly figure out how many I need. So it's a lot easier for me. Um, doesn't have to be personal, just advice on how to feel confident. I think that comes with age and um, how old are you? <laughs> I feel like I need to ask that question first. Um, that comes with age and being comfortable with your partner. I've never been as comfortable with anyone as I am with my husband. And even before we were married and into it as well. I mean, we've been married for, not married 15 years, uh, together almost 15 years. It's been 14 years. And he's amazing and so comfortable. And we are just when you get to that point where like laughter, like you're like, you're okay. Like laughing at each other when you're naked. And like, I don't know. One time I, I fucking headbutted him and we could not stop laughing or like, we'll like make jokes or something like during sex. And it's just so funny. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Just that's, that's what happens is that that's really important. Um, but blogs are also amazing. Uh, there's a huge antique store and old factory in Toronto. Oh my God. That's amazing. Um, yeah. I enjoy your baby snuggles. I definitely will. If my husband cracked a joke during sex, I'd start crying. Well, it, I mean, it, it's like our level of, and it's not like cracking a joke. It's, it's like self-deprecating kind of. And it's like, <laughs> it, I don't know. It's just, it like, for instance, <laughs> for instance, one time we were in, it was, it was like after we it was, I think it was our first, yeah, it was our first date night after we had the baby. And I'm pretty sure it was for our eight year anniversary and eight year wedding anniversary. And we were la we were laughing so hard because we were like, wait, where are we going to do this? Because like, I know damn well our baby ain't going to stay asleep when we get inside, <laughs> when we get inside the, because we were in an apartment then in between buying, or selling and buying this house. Um, And it was so funny. And we were like, all right, I guess we're just going to park the car in the garage and do it in the back. And it was, it was so funny. And he, <laughs> We got in the back and he was like, oh my God, my knees. <laughs> it, was, it was it was just hilarious. Yeah. So anyways, it's, yeah. Um, it's so funny. Um, yeah. So, you know, whatever works for you and your person and yeah. Um, yeah. Being completely comfortable. So laughing, crying, chatting is acceptable. Yeah. I mean, shit, there's a, times when like it is so good, you start crying, you know? And I remember one time that happened and afterwards I was like, boy, that was, I lost all control of everything. I don't know what happened, you know? So, uh, sex time after baby is always more stealthy. I've noticed girl it, and it's funnier. And I don't know, it's just when you know each other that well, and not saying if you don't act like that, that you don't know each other well, but like with us, we're just super comfortable with each other and 
um, we've grown up together, you know, we started dating when we were both 19. That's insane. And I really do believe that in your twenties, you like grow up the most in, in that period, like in regards to like your entire life. So yeah, I um, met someone I'm completely comfortable with and he friend zoned me because I got feelings. Well, that that's his loss then move on. Don't play games. And that's, he's not worth your time then that's his loss. So move on. Don't waste your time. If you are the, um, you are the rule, not the exception. And, um, if he wanted to, he would, if they wanted to, they would. No excuses, no playing games, move on. There's someone out there better for you. Um, I think you're super empowering. I think so too. Hi, Barbie. Okay. Well also buy Barbie. Cause I gotta, I, I need to go hang out with my, um, uh, my father-in-law. I was about to say my abuelo. I don't have an abuelo. <laughs> my grandparents are dead. Um, okay. I started dating my soulmate at 19, been together 25 years this year, three kids later. That's amazing. That's awesome. I love that for you. Thanks for the chat. Yeah. Your honesty and realness is so refreshing and the way you unapologetically call out manipulation for what it is so healing for all the times I haven't been able to. Um, that comment is being screenshotted. Um, I have been wanting to like make a collage or something or like frame my favorite comments. So that's not an invitation to love bomb me. <laughs> Please don't do that. But like, I've gotten like a few like super nice emails from people that really just like made me feel real good, um, that I have like saved. And so I'm, I'm going to, um, I just, you know, I want stuff like that to put in my office, like keep, keep me going, you know, especially when like stuff's shitty. Cause this job can definitely get to you. Even you can be the most confident bitch in the world, but then you get a comment that's like, you're a horrible mother. And it's like, mm, cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, y'all, uh, you're amazing. Don't threaten us with a good time. We'll tell you how amazing you are. I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate you as well. All of you. And I mean, most of you, I'm sure there's probably not some great people here. Uh, people are horrible. You're amazing. Exactly. Um, so yeah, again, reminder, uh, check the community tab. That's where I put updates for videos and stuff like that. Also Instagram. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Iconic crowbar. Good, uh, username too, but make sure you check that. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're checking Instagram stories too. If you want like updates for videos and stuff, that's the two places I put those things. Um, and also I get real spicy and call people out on Instagram stories because it's just easier to do that on the go. Um, yeah. Appreciate you. Oh, hey, Laura B. How you doing? I haven't heard from you in forever. Um, okay. Goodbye. I got to go hang out with uh, me familia and I will see you later. That Katie Joy video will be up today. Okay. Goodbye.